Hi guys, welcome to this week's Storytime Connect. Do you love beach? If you do, this is the book for you. So today we'll read about the story of Seagull Sid. We will tell you the story of Seagull Sid and the naughty things his seagull said to reclaim what gulls had owned before people came to the sandy shore. These people brought boats and surf skis fantastic, but they littered the beach with cans and plastic, then lay on the sand row upon row, with tummies and bottoms up for show. With radios blasting the quiet sea air, with barbecues, picnics, and food everywhere, while the ghosts stood hunchback, quiet and dumb, waiting for someone to throw them a crumb. Enough, says Sid, one sunny Sunday. Come, my friends, we will chase them away. Time to be rid of this intruder called man. Let's get together and think of a plan. A grand plan they agreed on, simple and clear. Sid strutted with pride, it was all his idea. The seagulls stood tall and flubbed out each feather. Ready, squawk in. Let's do this together. They took off in convoy, all flying low. Sid took the lead, the first one to go. Splat! On the head of a picnicker below. There was the picnic, all ready to eat. Bombs away, Sid let the fleet. Bullseye on apple pie, no mistake on the chocolate cake. Right on every scone, curling in the drink. Grand slam, a hit on the hand. Then special assignments for a chosen few. Tricky task for seagull gulls too. Got him, said Jim. Good job, said Bob. Great shot, said Dot. Near miss, said Chris. Direct hit, said Kit. Got my man, said Jane. I hit the towel, said Howl. On his back, said Jack. Woody team, Kitchen, Hal, Jack, Jim, Bob, Dot, and Chris. Working together was only one miss. And then there was Freda, with potential as leader, but they didn't need her. That was sad. Because with the scurry and flurry, the people left in a hurry. Drivers in cars anxious to go, boats and surf skis all in tow. Picnics abandoned, no radio. Sid and his mates all gather round the remains of a picnic there on the ground. A victory feast, but first the speeches. Yes, seagulls will take back the beaches. Applause for Sid as he squat in praise of his seagull's courage and winning ways. Thank you, Team C cried out loud. You were right on target. I'm so proud. Splat attacks with such precision. Of course, I made the right decision. I used my plan. It was a winner. And now, my friends, you may eat your dinner. And that's it.